Welcome to Night Rider here at Kierling Commons in Scottsdale, Arizona. What's up, Night Rider fam? It's Rob again, here to talk to you about cuffs. You know, cuffs are a unique piece of jewelry that have been around for a very long time. The great thing about them is that they offer a lot of real estate for the designer to really work his magic and create a beautiful piece of jewelry. Today we're going to be covering three things when it comes to buying a 925 silver cuff. Can I do tradesies? How to put one on? What not to do when buying a cuff? And last but not least, how to size one to correctly fit your wrist. And as always, keeping it spicy for you. Wiki, wiki, wiki. <laughs> But here's the thing, when it comes to cuffs, nobody really knows how to put them on correctly. Take two fingers, pressing on your wrist. You're gonna work your way up your arm, about three to four inches looking for that soft spot. Once you find it, that soft spot is key when it comes to putting on and taking off your cuff. Now I like to teach my customers the hook and twist method when it comes to putting on and removing your cuff. Again, you're gonna find that sweet spot we talked about. You're gonna hook it on your wrist and twist it on, getting it in the proper position that you like. When it comes to taking it off, you're just gonna reverse that hook and twist method. You know, the second unique thing about cuffs is that they are that one bracelet that you get to custom fit to your wrist. Now, pulling it out of the box, looking at it, it looks pretty big. As I throw it on my wrist, I can immediately tell that it's pretty loose and this isn't gonna work, but I haven't fitted it yet to my wrist. Now as a quick sizing tip, one thing to remember when it comes to cuffs is that most women wear small and most men wear medium. Unless you got big arms like me, then you wear a large. Now the tendency people have when they get their brand new cuff right out of the box is they slap it on and they just pinch it down real tight. Do not do this. The problem you're gonna find is you're gonna over tighten it on one side, it's gonna be lopsided and extremely uncomfortable to wear. Hey Rob. Yeah. Do you want me to get that guy's cuff on the back? Perfect, yeah. This thing is pretty jacked. Perfect. All right, now here's a great example of a customer who worked this cuff way too much. Not only did he pinch it way too tight at the top, but he tried bending the metal back and forth way too much, causing it to crack right there. That's a big problem, that's a big no-no. Also, it's lopsided and not shaped correctly. No one's gonna wanna wear this. It's gonna be extremely uncomfortable. So I wanna be perfectly clear when it comes to cuffs. You can size them once and only once. Bending the metal back and forth will cause metal fatigue and will eventually lead to the cuff failing. You wanna make sure you size it correctly and wear it properly, and it'll last you a very long time. If at all possible, I recommend you stop by your closest Knight Rider store and have somebody there adjust the bracelet for you. We do fittings all the time. It'd be great to have somebody walk you through the process to ensure you get the best fit. If I see his ugly mug, on our website, if you want to see my videos, someone's getting fired. <laughs> but if you don't live near a Knight Rider store, this video is here to help you get that perfect fit. First, let's have Chris show you how a medium cuff should fit. Hey guys, I'm Chris. I'm gonna show you my roses cuff. So here we go. It's not gonna be loose enough to where it's gonna fall off, but it's not too tight that it's actually pinching my wrist. And as you can see, there's just enough room to where it's not gonna fall off but I can still take it off easily. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fit this cuff to my wrist. What I wanna make sure of is that I get a proper fit that's nice and snug, not too tight. I definitely don't want it too loose. I don't need it falling off on its own. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it between my palms and work the metal nice and slow. I'm gonna go slow and I'm gonna stop periodically because I wanna check and make sure the fit is good. I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna put it on. It feels a little snug. I'm gonna try and back it up just a bit. Again, between my palms, real secure and nice and slow. Working my way back and forth. Now remember, if this is a process you don't 100% feel confident with, again, that's why you stop by your local Knight Rider store and let one of the staff there help you fit this to your wrist. Perfect, there we go. Not too tight, not too loose. We got good mobility in the wrist. We're ready to rock and roll. And that's it, and that's how you fit the cuff to your wrist. If you got any other questions, stop by our website at knightriderjewelry.com and check out our other videos. We'll see you out there.